light firearms. What's up guys? We're back today with Man I Love Firearms talking about a AR pistol, the Daniel Defense DDM4 B7P. This thing I got in my hands right here. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Daniel Defense, they have been a competitor inside of the AR market for a very long time. Uh, if you know anything about ARs, I'm sure you've heard their name. If you've gone to any local gun shop, you've heard of Daniel Defense. Um, They've done stuff with SOCOM and stuff like that with the Mark 18 and everything. So they've been a, they've been a pretty big player in the game for a while. Um, the DDM4 B7P is Daniel Defense's, I would say, updated uh, model of the Mark 18. Um, it's still a 10.3 inch barrel, but it's got a free float rail on it um, instead of the wrist rail, which is a, a quad rail. Um, the uh, Daniel Defense DDM4 B7P is a mouthful. We're just gonna start calling the Daniel Defense. Um, comes with a 10.3 inch cold uh, hammer forged barrel, uh, is government profile phosphate coated, and uh, HP and MPI tested. So I like this gun a lot. There's a lot of goods about it. There's a couple bads. So we'll go ahead and start with the pros first. Um, we'll start from tip to butt, go all the way down it. Uh, first pro barrel is phenomenal. Uh, it's a sub MOA barrel all day with the right ammo, with match ammo. As, granted, as long as you're a sub MOA shooter, I'm not a sub MOA shooter, so I don't have a difficult time um, really bringing this barrel to light, but it is definitely a very good barrel. Down Defense is known for their good barrels. Um, going back down to the gas block, this gas block is pinned, uh, low profile pin gas block, which means instead of having two set screws, it has an actual roll pin that goes inside of it that holds it to the barrel, which is very nice. It's kind of a bomb proof uh, sturdiness, so you make sure your gas block doesn't come off. Uh, speaking of the gas block and the barrel, Daniel Defense has had a reputation of overgassing their rifles. Uh, the reason for that is so it can push through gunk and mud when you're actually using it in the field. That doesn't seem to be the case with this one. So it's, it's gassed a little better. It, uh, it seems to be ejecting, without the suppressor on it, it ejects brass at 4 p.m., uh, the four o'clock. Uh, with the standard H buffer, and this one is the model with a law tactical folder. So it's got an H buffer and then the law tactical weight, which essentially makes it an H2 buffer. Um, so from the factory, this shoot's great, it's fantastic. Uh, the fit and finish is phenomenal. There's no receiver wobble, nothing like that. Um, the finish is great, there's no noticeable machining marks on it, nothing like that, no noticeable wear and tear on it. Uh, overall, it's really genuinely a fantastic rifle. Uh, or pistol, sorry, ATF. Well, in my time owning this rifle, which I bought from a friend for a steal, uh, it, I have not had any, I've had zero malfunctions out of it. I've shot about a case and a half through it, so about 1,500 rounds. Uh, mixed steel case, 223, 5.56, uh, M855, M193, and this thing just chugs along. It's got no issues with any of that. Uh, it's, it's genuinely a fantastic pistol uh, out of the factory. It works, it just chugs and it works. The, uh, going on to the rail, the M-Lock rail is very comfortable, it's very slim. It reminds me a lot of an MCMR with maybe a little bit thicker than MCMR, if you guys are familiar with the BCM rails. Um, it's M-Lock, so you know you can't complain about that. It takes all your nice M-Lock attachments. It has four sling swivel points, QD sling swivel points on the rail that uh, you can configure however you wanna run your sling, whatever works best for you. Um, this gun was a little peculiar outside of the factory. It, uh, 
there's, I've made a few changes to it, as you can see, you know, obviously it didn't come with suppressor, it didn't come with a light, um, but I haven't made any internal changes. The trigger is still the factory trigger. Everything is still uh, from the factory. The odd thing about it is, is this one comes with an extended uh, bolt carrier group, which uh, I've seen a lot of them that don't. Um, this one came with an ambidextrous safety, which a lot of people say that it's uh, it not extended on one side. It's the, it, on the right side. It's not the same length as on the left side. This one came with the same length uh, safeties, so they rubbed into your hand. So I ended up changing it out for just a right-handed safety because I'm right-handed anyways. Um, and it came with an SOB brace instead of this uh, SBA4 that I got it with. Uh, but it also came with a lot tactical folder already installed on it, so I don't know. Uh, it's, there seems to just be some different models out there that have a little bit different things depending on when you bought them. Um, uh, as far as the lower receiver goes, everything seems to be fine. I have no weird wear on the trigger, on the hammer, or anything like that. Um, like I said, it's about 1,500 rounds. There's no excessive wear on anything. The uh, magazine well is beveled just like any other um, AR-15, you know, which makes for those easy insertions. And that's it. At, at the end of the day, it's, it's, uh, it's just a great AR. Now, there are, I do have some qualms with it, some issues, uh, mainly being the price. These things go for at your local gun shop in, um, about $1,700 for the pistol, which is insane. Um, that is a very, very expensive AR pistol and you can build something just like this for probably about $1,300. And you know, the issue with it is, is it doesn't come with any iron sights, doesn't come with anything. It comes with one magazine and a case. So it's not like you're getting a deal out of it with $1,700, it's just the AR. So, and Down Defense is known for that. Down Defense makes great ARs, but you're paying a premium for them. Um, a premium that you can get with the same with BCM or, in my opinion, with BCM or Sons of Liberty Gunworks or anything like that, and you'll end up probably saving about $500. Um, but if you bought this or you're planning on buying it, you're not going to go wrong. Um, it's a fantastic AR. It works every time. It, uh, it shoots great. It's got a great recoil impulse on it. Uh, like I said fit and finish is fantastic. The rail is Loctite solid. You know, it is a, it's a great AR. It really, really is. Um, it is just, like I said, if, if you guys are fans of Mark 18s or you guys are fans of the other AR defenses, you guys will love this one. Um, any modern AR, really, this is, it, this is just what you can find. You can't go wrong with it. I, my only, like I said, my biggest qualm is the, uh, my biggest qualm that I have with this is, is just the price. Another thing about Daniel Defense that I do not like uh, with this is the fact that it came with an SOB brace instead of an SBA4, which is a really cheap, gross pistol brace uh, that a $1,700 rifle should not come with. And I don't like Daniel Defense's pistol grip furniture. It uh, tweaks my wrist a weird way. I don't like the way it feels, so I swapped mine out for a BCM. Um, I'm sure you guys will ask, so I'll go ahead and go over how I have this set up and why. Um, from muzzle to butt, I have an AAC M4 2000 suppressor on here with a, I have a three prong muzzle device on here. A uh, three prong flash hider from AAC. Uh, going back from that, I have an Arasaka. I think this is the M600, the uh, the longer light, on a T-Rex Arms light bar uh, that was made in, in collaboration with uh, Arasaka. A down defense fixed front sight for when I'm shooting closer up, so it gives me a reference point. Uh, Surefire pressure pad going into the light. And going back from that, I'm running an EOTech EXPS2 with a G33 magnifier, uh, three power, you know, what more things you want, fantastic. For the rear, I'm running a Knight's Armament uh, micro sight. They're fantastic uh, sights, awesome iron sights, you know, anything Knight's Armament's fantastic. Uh, still, like I said, lower is pretty much stock, except for I changed the safety to uh, just a right-sided safety. So, or left-sided safety, excuse me. So that's great. Um, the Law Tactical folder, going back to that with the SBA4. Speaking on the SBA-4, I do prefer the SBA-3, but this came with an SBA-4 and I bought it and it's not worth changing it out in my opinion, but the SBA-3 is a nicer brace in my opinion. Um, other than that, that's about it. Uh, in the front, again, I have a BCM, um, BCM CAG kinesthetic angle grip. It's just nice to keep, it, it puts my hand in the same place every single time so I can get that pressure pad with that light. Um, and in conclusion, a fantastic AR. It works really well every single time. Uh, I've had no problems with it.
uh, shooting. It's just been great. It's chugged along. Every type of ammo I've put through it, it's just pricey. It's pricey for what you get. But you know for a fact, if you're one of those people that you just want to buy it and be done with it and know that it's just going to work, great AR. It'll work for you every single time. Um, but if you're a little more knowledgeable and you want to kind of source parts, which I know is really difficult right now, uh, you're really going to end up saving a little bit of money and you can get a decent AR without a 10.3 inch barrel. You know, everyone's moving to the 11.5 inch barrels for a reason. They're just a little better ballistically. Not saying they're less accurate. 10.3 inch barrels are just as accurate as 11.5 as 12.5. Um, if you're just not getting a lot of umph out of 5.56 from that uh, small barrel. So, all right, guys, that's the day on the fence. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, we're trying this out for the first time, so we don't know how this is going to work. If you guys have any feedback for us, let us know in the comments. Thank you so very much. Oh, you're such a handsome man. Am I really? Yeah. Productions.